Hey everybody, this is Perch, and with uh, Kazuo Umezu uh, coming back to do horror, um, and I, I think that's that's just amazing. If you saw the video on that uh, yesterday, if you haven't checked that out, definitely uh, get in there and and you've gotta you've gotta read more of that comic. Um, it's very easy to find, and it's uh, it's just some it's amazing stuff. You can you can get in there and you can get a bunch of, of really good reading. The Drifting Classroom or Cat Eyed Boy definitely a place to go, but. Another, uh, even bigger legend, I think, in comics has also announced a new series, and this is the great Rumiko Takahashi, who I've talked about on this channel before, obviously the creator of Ranma and um, uh, Yoroshi Yatsura, Mermaid Saga, Inuyashi, uh, Inuyasha, what am I saying? Um, some really great work, and this is, this is a comics that had a lot of I would say people have described it as slice of life type content, but not like you think. Not like uh, it's been described in the U.S. There, there's still a lot of dramatic tension and character development and and all that kind of stuff. It's not just, you know, random people wandering around eating. So it's it's actual, you know, it's actual real content. And Rumiko Takahashi is a, is a absolute beast and a legend uh, in Japan with everything she's done. M hundreds of millions, 200 million copies uh, in circulation, multiple award winner, uh, extremely wealthy uh, mangaka in uh, in Japan, and uh, one of uh, just, just a woman who made incredible progress uh, in the country and in this space. Uh, this is always one of those, uh, you, you hear those messages about uh, women uh, were not really, couldn't make any progress in comics. Meanwhile, uh, back in uh, 1978, she was just trailblazing a just killer career with some of the most amazing content that's that's been distributed worldwide. Uh, so anyway, huge uh, impact. I'm not going to go over her career again. I did a video on this, and there's lots of people who talked about Rumiko Takahashi, the 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 king, uh, the queen, whatever you want to call it, the, the <laughs> one of the absolute top uh, comic creators in the world, not just manga, just comics, just in terms of, of raw shipping power and wealth and everything else. But here's the um, here's the cool work. Uh, the the new news is Takahashi, yes, is coming out with a brand new uh, series called Mao, and it's a fantasy series. Now, keep in mind, uh, Rumiko Takahashi, age 63, still doing incredible, incredible work. Mao is... Um, is basically it's uh, once again it's time travel it's fantasy so Inuyasha is one of those series that um, it's kind of uh, people love it or hate it it's not my favorite of her work but still you know great stuff um, Rumiko Takashi is a protege of Lone Wolf and Cub uh, creator uh, Kozuki has created uh, as a many many things so Mao the the plot is that it's the Taisho era and it's Japan's Roaring Twenties. So modern day, meaning today, schoolgirl uh, Nanoka stumbles into a world of Japan's beginning modernism with Western clothing styles, European cafes, but something dreadful about this world lies as beautiful women will transform into spider demons, Shigigami disguised as little boys, policemen turn into rabid dog Akiyashi. This isn't the Roaring Twenties like she had read about in her history books. Uh, Nanoka passes through a portal into the Taisho era, where exorcist Mao reluctantly rescues her from the jaws of a grotesque yokai. When Nanoka gets back to the present, she discovers she has new incredible abilities. She returns to the past looking for answers, only to get caught up in Mao's investigation of a series of gruesome murders. And as her questions about herself multiply, Nanoka learns that Mao is cursed by a cat demon named Bioki, and so is his sword. If anybody but Mao attempts to wield it, they're doomed. But when Mao's life's in jeopardy, Nanoka picks up the blade and swings and uh, basically sets off this entire chain of events. So time travel, demons, uh, you know, sword play, all kinds of crazy stuff, most likely some level of unrequited uh, love kind of thing between uh, Nanoka and um, and Mao. Maybe not. I, I just, just that's that's one of those kinds of will they or won't they kind of things that that these comics often go to. But the, the comic looks incredible. Uh, Rumiko Takahashi uh, taking advantage of kind of this time period and, and what can be done there. Uh, she, she's shown just a, a huge ability to do uh, some amazing things there. So I'm, I'm excited to see it. Um, I think this is going to be uh, incredible. Uh, Viz is going to be helping to bring that over, longtime partner. So you will be able to read that here in the U.S. Um, this is basically Mao Volume 1. So this is not new and it's been coming out but it is coming out uh, here in the u.s for availability september 14th so just a couple short weeks you can start to get into this new series 
by Rumiko Takahashi, who's, uh, again, 63, still putting out amazing work. And related to that, um, Takahashi is... Uh, in, uh, there's this, you know, what, how, what does the schedule of uh, a manga creation look like? And so, uh, you know, the answer is, even at 63... Uh, she does incredible, um, incredible work and incredible work schedule. So uh, the long hours. So she talks about um, uh, kind of the schedule for following days. 9 a.m. And this is how her schedule starts. 9 a.m. Temporarily stop working and go to bed. 9 a.m. Stop work. Noon. Uh, eat lunch. Do housework. 4 p.m. Start drawing. 7 p.m. Take a break. Eat dinner. 8 p.m. start drawing again. 9 a.m. finish working. So just to, to kind of sum that up a little bit, she's basically going from 8 p.m. to 9 a.m. Okay, so that's uh, <laughs> that is, I mean, Jesus, that that <laughs> what's that? 13 hours of drawing, and then she takes a nap from 9 to noon where she's eating lunch and doing the housework, start drawing, taking a break. Now, this isn't every day. There's, um, you know, different different days in the schedule. Um, there's another one where, you know, before noon, do some inking, eat lunch, read house, read and do housework. Um, so there's, there's different times, but uh, basically, yeah, she doesn't sleep. Um, she draws through the night for 12 hours, takes a three-hour nap to recharge before a second consecutive all-nighter when she goes again, um, you know, eating, housework, sleep. Now this is again, uh, <laughs> this again, 63 year old Rumiko Takahashi created some of the most amazing uh, content in the whole world. And Takahashi, um, when she got started in 1978, when she debuted, uh, there was one year in 2018, where she didn't have a series running in Weekly Shonen Sunday, basically one year. So basically, that's a run from 1978 to now. It's almost 50 years where she's been she she with a one year break. Um, that is absolutely uh, crazy. Now she does have a Twitter account, and you can see it's it's you you need to translate uh, to understand, but. Um, it's, uh, you know, she doesn't tweet a lot. She doesn't talk about, uh, you know, <laughs> so maybe that's part of the, the secret is uh, she's pouring her heart into her work. Um, but uh, basically she is writing, she is uh, uh, dialoguing and, and drawing uh, the entire thing. It is, yeah, her, her schedule is insane. Um, this is Rumiko Takahashi, one of the, uh, the, the richest, I think, mangaka uh, out there. And uh, definitely, it's, it's, it feels almost disrespectful to call her, uh, you know, mangaka. I think she is, um, she's been the creator of Amazing Worlds, um, huge net worth. And, um, and yet, despite all that, uh, yeah, she's basically putting in multiple 12-hour all-nighter drawing time to get her work done. Uh, pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, just in contrast to some of the other things we've seen. But the, the cool news is Mao, this series, which uh, has gotten some some pretty good reviews uh, from people who have already read it, uh, certainly in Japan, the volume coming out September 14th from Viz Media Collected. Um, again, looks looks really cool. You can pre-order uh, the paperback for $9.99. It's, um, it, it, it looks great. Um, going to be available digitally on Comixology, Google Play, Kindle Nook, and, um, you know, it's, it's classic, yeah, it's just classic uh, Takahashi, the, all the pieces of it, from kind of the more mystical elements to the cool slice of life stuff. Um, he, again, 63, and she's putting out very detailed, cool pieces of work, uh, has been running weekly. This is definitely a comic to check out. If you, if you for some reason, you haven't seen much of what uh, Takahashi has done, um, it's definitely worth trying, depending on what you what you like. If you like something a little bit more comedy, lighthearted, um, more old school kind of uh, manga anime, then I would go uh, for for Lum, uh, Yurushirushia, the 
that series. If you are, uh, Ranma is probably the, the standard of what a lot of people do. Uh, there's lots of, of different um, ways to get into Ak Takahashi, but very cool to see this new series out, something for us to read here in the U.S., and uh, very cool uh, that, you know, she's still going strong. That work schedule is absolutely crazy, uh, but that is, uh, that's one of, what, one of the most popular people popular creators in Japan is working that kind of schedule. It really makes you think. Anyway, go check it out. Mao uh, by Viz, available now, or sorry, not available now. You can pre-order it right now. Uh, cheap, lots of good stuff. Uh, sounds like a pretty good story, time travel and, and demons and all kinds of shenanigans that the character can get up to. So go check it out. Uh, let me know what you think of Takahashi, this crazy schedule, but this uh, also great talent that comes from her. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course, and thanks for listening.